Okay. Yeah. All right. Going back to the uh, question and test section. Uh, following today's game is Eastern Michigan. We have head coach Rashawn Turnow. Coach, well, great matter. And coach, we'll let you start us off with a statement about today's game. Well, today uh, was an unbelievable performance by our seniors, but also by the, the entire team. Uh, we were disappointed uh, coming out of uh, the Buffalo game. Um, and, you know, anytime you, you play at home, you always want to play your best, your best for, the, for your family and friends, uh, the, 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 your, your uh, students that you're friends with, right? Um, so I thought these guys had the right intentions. Um, a little adversity. Nothing's new with NIU. With the weather changes, we had to move the time up. Um, really messed up our prep. But, you know, these guys showed that they understood what, what we needed to do to win the game, and I thought they came out with the right intentions. Um, it was a great performance from start to finish. I think we led almost 39 minutes. Um, and so I think, you know, going into uh, Cleveland, uh, w w I think we're, we're, we're going to be a team that can get some wins if, if we do the things that we, we're capable of, and that's playing clean, not turning the ball over, and using each other and trusting each other. So today was, was a great indicator that, you know, with everybody getting back healthy slowly, that we're going to be really good and, and down in Cleveland. We just got to get the next two or three days to get our body right and then put the game plan in whoever, whomever the opponent may be. Um, but I'm excited for these guys just to have this moment at home in front of their friends and family. Well, it, it, it was just a, a game that, you know, like most, when we're playing well, the ball moves and we have balance. Um, Caleb, obviously, is a guy that sets the table for everyone else to eat. Um, and, you know, our, our fives, Harvin, uh, Anthony Crump, all those guys uh, played well, right? And they played well, especially early, to give us the cushion. Uh, we knew that uh, Eastern Michigan is a dangerous team with, with Farrakhan and Bates. And so we needed to play clean, play fast, um, and have fun. I think when we have those things uh, start to happen, it, it loosens you up a little bit, especially us in transition. Um, I, I thought we did a really good job of pushing tempo. Um, but, you know, five guys in double figures, you take that all day long. Um, and, you know, we're going to need that, you know, when we get down uh, the Cleveland on Thursday. We got to continue to play well at the right time and be, you know, moving outward because this, this is an unbelievable opportunity for us. Caleb, you had a double double in your senior day game. And, you know, friends and family, as you said, right behind your mom with the two signs was awesome. <laughs> uh, how did it feel to perform in such a big way in front of them today? Uh, it was very important to me. Um, all those people that were back there, um, they've pretty much pushed me to to this point that I'm at now. I could have never gotten here without them. Um, so as much as senior night is for me, it's for everybody that's helped me. Um, and you know, for me, it was a big deal for me to go out and play well. I didn't want to put too much pressure on myself because I usually play worse <laughs> when I do that. But um, it was it, it meant a lot to me to go out there and you know have a good senior night and get a win more importantly. So uh, going into Cleveland, I think this was good momentum. Uh, I'll say no. Like, it wasn't no pressure behind guarding him. I did it before. I felt like I could do it again. But, you know, he's a very good player, and I respect him. And I just came in and did what I had to do, what they was expecting me to do. Well, it's, you always want to go into a tournament uh, on an uptick. Um, Record-wise, being 500 in league play is important. Um, you know, but confidence that you're moving in the right direction, especially in a, in a single-game uh, elimination situation. So you want to make sure that you're, you're, you're playing your best basketball. And um, we didn't get the wins, but if you look at total minutes of us leading in the last four or five games, I want to say percentage-wise, we're probably about 75 to 80 percent. That's from Ohio, from Miami, Miami of Ohio on to the, this last game. And so we, we need to shore up some things. Um, but, you know, I think we, this, this game gives us positive momentum. Um, we cap off the regular season. Uh, we wanted to be above 500 in league play. I didn't want to go into conference play or end the year uh, in a negative. So that, uh, that goal was accomplished. Uh, going into Cleveland, it's a new season, right? But, you know, these guys, we're not motivated just by results, right, the process. 
Um, and that's why we turned the season around because we weren't motivated by the results. Whatever the score was, you know, it's a journey. And just enjoy the journey and then everything will figure itself out. Um, so we, we understand that, you know, there's an unbelievable opportunity uh, come Thursday. But the preparation that we, we're going to take place on, on Monday uh, is not going to be any different than what we've done all year. We just got to make sure that we're focused and ready to start over. Uh, it was very important. Today was senior day. Everybody, families was here. You know, these are my brothers. So it was very important for us to get the win. And my point of view, of course, for my brother. So I went out and did everything I had to do. It, it definitely was. Um, we feel like we play better when we touch the paint. Uh, our points in the paint, usually when we win that battle, we usually win most of the games. Um, so I think that it was a point of emphasis, and it should be going forward. Um, I think when we settle, um, we tend to get complacent with threes. You know, if we make a few, and you know, we go backwards. So I think going into Cleveland, it's going to be a point of emphasis again uh, on Thursday, on Monday when we start practice to, to keep getting in the paint and spraying the ball, because that's, you know, if we want to shoot threes, we need to get in the paint first, so. Coach, how important was it to come out, uh, start that second half, and score right off the bat, just to kind of let Eastern know that you were still doing what you were doing? It was important to, to do that. It was, um, but also to start the game. If you look at what we did versus Buffalo being 14-4 to what we did this game, and, and if you look at the season as a whole, we get in trouble when we're down double digits, right? Because that mountain climb takes a lot out of you. And, and typically, you, um, you're in on the short end of the stick because you exert so much energy just to get back. Um, but a 6-0 run to start the half to push it to 18 uh, was important because now it puts pressure back on them. Um, so I, I was happy for those, these guys to go out and execute. The first four minutes of any half is vital. Because that easy 12 point can, you know, it can be now down to six before the first TV timeout. Um, so uh, we wanted to keep them on their heels um, all night. We wanted to make those guys. It wasn't, you know, uh, Keyshawn, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Caleb or, 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 or Nutter versus, you know, Farrakhan or, or, or Bates. It was a team effort. Um, you know, if you look at Bates' numbers against uh, Nutter, the first the two games combined, I mean, he's done a phenomenal job, a phenomenal job. Caleb, you look at his, his points and assists uh, against uh, Farrakhan, he's done a phenomenal job. These guys are prideful people, right? We, we, we hear the pundits and, and how good these guys are. And, you know, I got good guys in my locker room as well, and they're competitors. So um, Nutter won't say it, but I will. We take this personal, right, because he's put in enough time to feel confident that he can guard him. The same thing with Caleb, right? So, um, you know, that's, that's the mentality I have as, as a coach, and I instill that in my players. They got to line up against you too, right? And so if you look at their numbers versus their counterparts, I think we won that battle. And, and that, that's how we're going we're gonna to compete. But it wasn't just one-on-one. -on -one, it was five-on-one. -on -one, it was five-on-two. So we're not going to ever leave these guys on the island by themselves to go make it a personal battle because their brothers are going to be behind to help them when they do, you know, have a mishap. But we're, we're competitors, and you know these guys are, are, are competitors in their own right, and we're going to go out and challenge and compete against anyone we got to line up against. Um, so uh, this was an unbelievable victory for these guys to go out the right way. As I think Reek said it best, he's going to do whatever he needs to do for his brothers to send them out, especially at home when there was so many family and friends in the crowd for these seniors. Uh, it was a lot of energy. I didn't know what to expect because of the, the, ch the time change. Uh, the Convocation Center really showed out tonight for these guys, and I mean today, so super proud for that, and uh, hopefully we can get down to Cleveland and continue to represent the university the right way, but more importantly, our program. So that, that's the goal. And then just talk a little bit about the seniors and the guys and even getting through in there and just able to score the field goal at the end. <laughs> you had a big smile on your face. Yeah. So, uh, just talk about those four guys and I'll start with uh, Weems first. Those guys are servers to the program. Um, they're not on scholarship. Um, they don't get any fanfare. They rarely get in games, and they, they're at practice every day. So an opportunity for him to play in front of his family and friends because he's a server 98% of the time. He's on defense 98% of the time. 
Uh, he's getting beat up 98% of the time. He didn't, you know, so to do that was, was, was a huge accomplishment. And I said this to these guys at the four-minute mark. It's time to pay it back. Go play the right way, finish, or we can get these guys in the game because this is his last go around at the Convocation Center. So um, I'm super excited for Weems. He's been a server to my program, um, and, and I'm happy for his future because he's going to have a bright future. Um, he's a really bright kid, so we're happy for him. Uh, Anthony Crump and, and, and Caleb, you know, I inherit these guys when I took over the position, um, and they never treated me as if I wasn't their coach who recruited them. They listened, they competed, they fought, um, and they helped get this program to where it's at. We were at the bottom of the league last year with no respect. Coming into this year, no respect. And these guys took it upon themselves along with the rest of the team to really put this program on a map and make us respectable within league play. Um, people respect Northern, um, and it's a testament to these guys. You know, they didn't have a great – he didn't have a great first year. They were three and whatever, but he didn't put his head down, didn't point fingers. He got in the gym and he worked. And he's, look, he's leading the MAC in assists and steals, right? So this is a testament to his work and his belief and his ability to help us. Uh, Anthony Crump, uh, Mr. Grumpy, um, is, is, he's a consummate guy, man. He, he just comes to work every day. Um, He's like Caleb. He wants to win at a high level. Um, they've all been told this program isn't good enough. Um, so these guys really have, have, have put us in a position to be successful. And I wanted to get these guys to Cleveland um, because they've earned the right to. And you know I'm excited for uh, all these guys. And I'm happy that they, in their last year, got an opportunity to play in front of their fin family and friends and go out the right way. But more, the season isn't over. It's just one chapter. Our goal is to, is to, is to get to Saturday and win and get to the NCAA tournament. And I think we have enough in our locker room to do that. But I'm excited for these guys. Darwishi Hunter, same thing. You know, same thing. He came from Weber State, didn't have a lot of fanfare around him. He worked, didn't have a great last year, but he took upon himself to get in the gym, came in great shape, had a great summer, stepped up when we needed it. And he was a, he's a big catalyst to why we turned our season around. So all these guys who are seniors have a hand in why we're going to Cleveland. And they are grateful. Um, I'm grateful that I had an opportunity to coach him because these guys are what success looks like on and off the court. Every kid I just mentioned are really good academically, all conference academically. So they're doing it on both sides of the ball. And so Caleb and the rest of his seniors are what student athletes look like that will walk through these doors and compete for me. They do it both on both ends, in class and on the court. So I'm proud to have them in my program, but you know, the season isn't over, so I'm gonna stop celebrating them, right? So we got more to go. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Don't listen to anything.